today we're going to show you guys how to operate a rollback tow truck. Um, I'm going to use my 95 Ford F800 12 valve Cummins truck to show you. Um, every, every rollback tow truck, not every, but most rollback tow trucks are pretty much the same. You have your levers here. Uh, you'll either have three for a winch truck and a rollback or you will have five if it is a wheel lift. And that is a wheel lift. So this video is going to be pretty basic to show some newcomers, anyone who wants to get into this industry or someone that's starting, the uh, pretty basic fundamentals on operating a rollback tow truck. So I'm going to hop in, get this thing fired up, and uh, we'll take it from there. Now that the truck is running, the first thing you do is you initiate the PTO, which is power takeoff. Um, the power takeoff does exactly what it's called. It takes power from the engine or the transmission and emits it to, in our case, a hydraulic system. And our hydraulic system is right here, connected to the levers. That is our hydraulic control valve. So what I'm gonna go do is turn on our PTO and we'll get this bed moving. So in my case, this is my PTO lever and this is my throttle lever. So to turn my PTO on, I gotta be in neutral, push my clutch down, Turn the PTO on, slowly let the clutch out. Now we can rev up. Now we'll be able to operate the bed. So typically, the levers closest to the truck are for the wheel lift. So this will allow the wheel lift to go down and up. This one will allow it to go out in. So the three that we're left with are the bed controls. So we will first bring the bed out. And now we'll bring the bed down. You can either drive a vehicle on if it's drivable, or you take your winch, bring the cables out, attach it to the vehicle, and then you can winch the vehicle on. From that point, you just put the bed back up. So one thing I see a lot of guys doing is they'll tilt the bed first. So you cannot do that. If you have a load on this and your, your bed is too far back, we, are, we would be heavily relying on the hydraulic pistons to take a lot of load if we tilt the bed back. So even though the bed is going to drag on the gravel a little bit, you bring the bed forwards. Until it's about 75%, I marked off on my bed when to tilt it up. But you, you can gauge, you know, when you're pretty close to the cab and a majority of the load is now on the truck, you can tilt the bed down. bed back into the cab very slowly. Now we have the bed locked back onto the truck. And at this point now what you do is you would strap down the vehicle for transport. And getting the vehicle off is the same thing. You bring the bed down and then you unstrap and then you can drive the car off or you can winch the vehicle down. And that is it. Any questions, any other info anybody needs, um, I will be posting a lot of informational videos such as this. This might be a video um, for beginners. Some people might think it's silly, but there are no stupid questions, and, and this might be a video that someone needed to see. So thank you to my Ford F800 for allowing us to use its bed, and thank you for the cameraman for recording us. And uh, yeah, so that is the video on how to use a rollback tow truck and its basic operations. Thank you.